So, you may have socialised in the playground, but these days it's all about being indoors and online. Take these 15-year-olds. Between them, they have 16 profiles on social networking websites. So what's the attraction? It's keeping in contact with people you know and people from far away you don't normally speak to and you're not able to speak to because of the distance. Also, you might learn different countries, like their language as well, because of adding people from different countries. It's helping you learn. The most popular sites, Facebook, Bebo, Tagged and MySpace. Well, Facebook's where you can just like be yourself. It's just update your profile and talk to people but with tagged it's more you're not sure about who people are so you have to be a bit wary of who you're talking to. But with online surfing comes the danger of exposure to unwelcome guests. My mum doesn't think, she thinks that everyone out there on Facebook and MySpace is a paedophile and everyone's going to hurt you but it's not really like that because I only add the people who I know and I think if most people did that it would be a lot safer. So, next time your teenager is online, remember, they're savvier than you may think. The teenagers of today aren't stupid, we have brains and our parents have taught us right from wrong, so are the teachers. And we should be allowed to use social networking sites freely um, because we have brains not to do something or add somebody we don't know or add somebody that's potentially dangerous.